Last week, we read Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus by Mo Williams, and we spent all of last week talking about the theme of the story and the message Mo Williams was trying to get behind. So as a quick review, we've got one of our main characters, a pigeon, and as y'all may recall, he really wanted to drive that bus. So we've got him thinking, let me drive the bus. And then we've got our driver as well as his bus. But that is not what we're focusing on this week. This week, we are focused on some of the vocabulary words used in the story. So on your pieces of notebook paper, you should have numbered them one through five. And behind our quick review, we've got the five vocabulary words we're going to be looking at this week. So on number one, the first word we're going to look at is box. So I'm going to read the context that Mo Williams wrote these words in, and you're going to write what you think they mean by each number. So on number one, we have the word bucks. How about I give you five bucks? Bucks. How about I give you five bucks? The next word we're going to look at is dreams. I have dreams, you know. Number two, dreams. I have dreams, you know. So remember, this is not spelling test. You're going to write what you think dreams means next to number two. Next word we're looking at is cousin. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. Three is cousin. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. So write what you think the word cousin means. Next word we're looking at is going to be driver. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Driver. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Then the last word that we're looking at is idea. I have an idea. So the last one, number five, write what you think idea means. I have an idea.